been some of the most exciting things and tough conversations that we've had, but some great stuff that has happened along the way. We, uh, we've had some great collaboration. It took us a while to get there, but once we got there, we have uh, been able to sit down with leaders in our district and have some of these hard conversations that Tabitha was talking about, and yet put together some collaborative uh, uh, pieces that were so strong. It has included some of the absolute best professional development of my career. The way I can best summarize what class has done into our culture is that I was having a conversation with a new teacher uh, just last week, and we were talking about our performance evaluation system. It's the end of the year, and she was asking questions about what to expect when she sat down with our administrator. And I went backwards in time and gave her a little bit of the background to how we got to the point that we're at right now. And she looked at me and she said, well, what's class? And that, to me, I think is a really good indication of how transformative the last few years have been for us, is that now the work that we have done over the last few years is just what we do. And our new teachers really don't see any kind of division between our daily operations and where we started three years ago. The last three years have uh, really been amazing. And the student results that we're getting, uh, I, we couldn't ask for any more. But I still look back as the best, very best part of this was the fact that the class caused us to sit down together and have conversations about what we wanted it to look like, what we wanted the education system and tell them to look like three and four years down the road. And what it's taught us is that now three years into it, we can do that same thing all over again. And so some of the many grants that we were looking at and are in the process of approval um, are to use iPads for kids who are visually impaired or long-term person-centered planning throughout the region and also looking at some alternative behavior work for our BIC programs. We're here representing our 22 member class design team. And we really started the project in December. We had one meeting before. So we're not as far along as uh, some of the districts in this, and we will be working on this through November. We have finally completed our guiding principles, and we are beginning work on our uh, blueprints for our career pathway and our teacher evaluation and our professional development. And then we also have time set up where we'll be working on the compensation. One of the great things about Vernonia is in this year, it's not just class and ONREP and our data teams, that we've really done a good job at combining all of it. So it's all, everything that we're doing together. It's not these separate things. We've really done a good job of, of making it just one thing that we just do. And we have collaborated with kindergarten and high school. We have a couple of kids who go out to our one room school at MIST and work out and help there. So there's been so many things that we've been able to do all together. I've never had a year teaching in my eight years um, where a group of all the high school, all the schools together work with each other. Tell by the introductions, we are all teachers in the sister school district. We're colleagues and we got involved with class to, to get better at what we do and improve the education of the kids and sisters. Um, I want to start by telling a quick story. I used to work in the Sherwood School District, worked for Dan for a year, and early in my career I had an opportunity to work uh, or co-teach with, with an experienced teacher. And that had one of the biggest impacts on my teaching career. Every day seeing someone who was very good at what they did and, and simply learning from them on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's something very unique that as teachers we don't get the opportunity to do. And when I saw the class was coming to Sisters, and we had the opportunity to try to recreate some of that, that's something that I wanted to get involved in. Uh, in the end, I think that this is probably, I may have said this already, this is probably the most uh, important project that I have been around since 1970. You know, it's more important than IDEA, it's more important than and, 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 and whatever that other thing is, no child is behind. Uh, it, it is. It's, it could be transformational. And I think that I enjoy the fact that I was invited on this journey by Chalkboard right, and that we will have the opportunity in our district to continue. We have come up with some really good ideas. Um, one will be our evaluation. Um, as a teacher in the district for the past 15 years, 
our evaluation system following Danielson has been sort of hit and miss, like many districts. And uh, I was one of the teachers that said, we've got to look at something different. And classes, we're able to do that in class and with TIFF. Um, we've reevaluated what's going on there. We'll still follow a lot of the Danielson model um, as far as what's going on there. But after the Tim Marshall presentation, we all walked away with the aha moment and said, guess what? Instead of doing these dog and pony shows that we're so used to, let's go ahead and do something that's real in today's environment. And that are the mini evaluations or mini observations. I don't think it's an understatement to say that we didn't know what we were getting into. Dan came down the freeway and said, I got an idea. Are you guys interested? It's September. We need to know in two weeks if you're getting on board or not. And that was with class and TIFF. And uh, our teachers took it on, and it's um, been a real honor to work with them. And I'm forever thankful for all the effort that they've put in. And I believe that we have some really good products, and going forward, it's, uh, it's been great. So thank you.